How's it going everyone? Today with me I have two drones. Right here is the SG906 Beast Pro 2 and right here is the JetTime JTX7. So we're going to be comparing these two drones and we're going to see which one is better. So anyways, let's get into the video. Before we start guys, I'd like to ask you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want, after this video, go ahead and check out some of my other videos on these drones. I've reviewed both of them, and I will link those videos in the description below. So, let's get into it. So, let's start off with the similarities. Believe it or not, there are a lot of similarities. That's why we're comparing these two drones. So, they are both foldable. As you can see, the beast right here folds up like this. Boom and then this arm also folds in as well as the JTX7 folds up the back one comes in like this and this arm also folds up so they are both foldable they both come with carrying cases too so that's pretty nice very nice high quality carrying cases they both have GPS brushless motors and they also record to a micro SD card and their camera is also remote tilt adjustable. All right, now let's talk about the differences. First of all, the range. This one right here, the JetTime JTX7, has a 500 meter range. However, it is eclipsed by the Beast Pro 2 right here because this has a one kilometer range or a range of 1,000 meters. So the range category, we're gonna have to give it to the SG906 Beast Pro 2. Next up, let's talk about the camera smoothness. So, this camera right here is fixed, but you can adjust it in the air, so it's remote tilt adjustable. This one right here has a cover on it right now, but it has a three axis gimbal. So let's take this cover off right here. As you can see, there is a three axis gimbal right here with obviously the gimbal cover. So the camera smooth, this obviously goes to this one due to its three axis gimbal. Next up, let's talk about the actual camera quality. They both shoot in 4K, but not all 4Ks are the same. And in this instance, the Beast Pro 2 has a slightly better uh, picture quality. I think it's not really, a, the difference isn't huge, but I'm gonna give the slight edge to the Beast. I think it's just a little bit more clear. Um, if you want to see both of these guys' footage, go check out their reviews and you can see the camera quality in those reviews because I show clips from each of these drones. So go check out those reviews after this video. Alright, so next up is the flight time. The Beast right here has a 26 minute flight time and by, from my experience it actually does fly for um, somewhat of a long time, but it is eclipsed now by the JT X7 because the X7 has a 30 minute flight time. Although you're not going to get 26 minutes out of the uh, Beast over here and you're not going to get 30 minutes out of those, this one will slightly outperform that one in terms of flight time. So the Jet Time wins this category. Alright, so next up is the controller and this one isn't even close at all. Personally, I'm going to give this one to the JTX7 because I like the controls more and it's also rechargeable and it uses the same charger as the battery in the actual drone so that is totally awesome the controller for the Jet, JetTime JTX7 is much better than the Pro 2. Next up let's talk about price. Um, this one goes for around $200 sometimes it's going to cost a little bit more than $200 this one, however, right here costs $250 typically, so automatically this one is $50 more usually, so we're going to have to give price, the price category to the Beast because it is cheaper, and both these drones are very similar, relatively the same drones, so in this category we're giving price to the Beast. Alright guys, now with everything taken into consideration in which drone is better this is my opinion but I'm gonna to have to go with the SG906 Beast Pro 2 as the slightly better drone 
Now, I mean slightly better drone. And what this comes down to is the actual footage and how smooth it is due to the three axis gimbal. And it's a little bit more clear because I think this camera is slightly better. It's a slightly better 4K. So just um, the Beast Pro 2 slightly wins this contest. I think it's just a hair bit of a better drone. This is a hard decision to make, and the Beast right here did not win by much. It just barely edged out the X7 over here. So if you see one noticeably cheaper than the other, like by a big margin, then I would go with the less expensive option because it's very close between these two. I mean, if this one right here, even though I said this one's better, if this one is $20 cheaper, I would probably go with this one because it's not a big difference at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still here, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I make content like this every week, so please check out my other videos and please stay tuned for my weekly videos that I upload. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.